O with the info. The Ozone Podcast. Mr. Up, Mr. Up, Mr. Up. The Ozone Podcast. What does a submissive woman do for her man? Everything. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, like packing his bag, unpacking his bag, um, just making sure all the things that he wants. And like, I, I pretty much read his mind. So it's like if I know you and I study you, like I know how you are in the morning. I know how you are about midday. I know when you're in this. I don't want to do this. I don't have you. Please. Please. Stop, please. Me. I don't care. Recording you. Posted, posted. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't want you. What up, though? It's Mr. O with the info. So, Cam News fiance seems to basically say what men have been trying to ask and wanting to make and wife in modern day age at 2022. So, we about to go ahead and take a look at that video as well the ramifications of when your boyfriend doesn't want you no more and you see why toddles toddle let's go ahead and step into the old files be right back what does a submissive woman do for her man everything <laughs> what does that mean you know like packing his bag unpacking his bag um, just making sure all the things that he wants and like I, I pretty much read his mind. So it's like if I know you and I study you, like I know how you are in the morning, I know how you are about midday, I know when you're in this mood, what you need. Like before you can ever ask me for something, I'm already on it. I mean, he's spoiled. And you know, when I talk to my girlfriends about it, they're always like, oh, how are you guys doing? And I'm just like, girl, he's rotten. I'm like, he's spoiled rotten. Like, he's rotten. But I love that. Like, I want him to be that. I think my biggest flex is how I treat my man. And I've been known to love people back to health. And sometimes it's very draining. But my love is my superpower. And I used to hate that about myself. But now it's like, I'm just embracing it. Like, that's who I am. Like, if I love you, I can heal you. It's I your joy. It is my joy. You know, I, I love to see him eating the meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic, but that's like, I just know that's when I'm like, oh, I can stop now. But I find joy in being your rest, you know? So know what that means. And, and that works for us because he wants what I have to offer. <laughs> I don't want to do this if I don't have you, please, please, Stop, record please. me, I don't care, record me, I don't care, post it, post it, post it, I'm not even recording post, you, post it, post it, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't, I don't want you more. Please stop acting like that. I can't. All right, calm down. I don't care. Please. Please. Please what? Please take me back. Please. I already I took you, you back. You won't you don't wanna be with you and everybody else. I wanna be how you were. Please take me back. Please take me back, please. Please take me back. Please take me back, please. 
So you had seen that Cam Newton's fiance was basically explaining how she would always support and deal with this man. How submissive her presence and what she does for this man is what actually gives him strength to take on the world around him. See, she gets it. Now, we had Brittany Renner recently. Basically, I guess she was doing rebuttal to this video of Cam Newton's fiance, and that's about submissive uh, women and what have you. We are now moving to the culture that femininity, submissiveness are things that are actually attributable to an actual wife. It's being condemned and probably always be called a woman a pick me a pick me they want to call a woman that wants to play a traditional familiar role in nature religion and, and uh, i quote a well-rounded society they want to go ahead and shame her because she wants to do what it was in her god-given right to do for her man key word her man now we see what the ramifications of what you don't do for your man especially in relationships regarding the sexual lasciviousness and um stand out we have another video of a woman probably accused of caught cheating on her boyfriend and remember what i said shout out to my boy dirty folks uh toddles gonna toddle throwing a temper tantrum like a little child in the car basically crying because she can't have her way she got caught and the only thing and, and i'm glad my man kind of record this because you know in this day and age anything could have happened especially when you want to go ahead and dump a woman yes when we do the pump and dump it's best for her to dump because dump things like this broken windows um unannounced uh show ups to your job and to your home or bad reputation just bad things about you on social media can happen that's why sometimes actually recording this type of behavior is good and I just hope you live in a state that is allowed to court just in case anything or backlash does happen to you but back to the, the old files lesson at hand we seen in both clips of what a positive woman we looking for in American Western culture that still might have a chance of standing up versus what we're dealing with for, and the ramifications of um, post-feminism, uh, the way uh, being overturned and just the degeneracy of the modern American society has devolved to and we are watching it all in real time. Maybe, hopefully, um, Vince uh, hope that his uh, fiance would go ahead and be a catalyst and uh, basically she could be the basis of what this culture needs. This has been Mr. O with the info, giving what you need to know. And you ain't here for me though. If you like the material and content, Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also, if you want to donate or contribute to the platform, you can sock it to my pocket at dollar sign M I S T E R O 70, all cap, but no cap, and all facts, Jack. And I'll holler at you. Peace. Mr. O with the info. The Ozone Podcast.